hours southwest off the coast of Nova Scotia on the greatest field trip any student could possibly imagine. Today, I joined undergrads from Dalhousie University and members of the Ocean Tracking Network in a quest to get up close and personal with nature's most feared and misunderstood creature, the shark. At the Mercer Report, I am, as always, hands-on. Unless, of course, something eats my hand. joined by Brindle Davis with the Ocean Tracking Network. Hello, Brindle, how are you? Hi, Rick, I'm nice, excellent. Nice to see you. Yeah. Ocean Tracking Network, what is it? What channel is it on? <laughs> now, what is it? The Ocean Tracking Network is a, is a global conservation organization, essentially, that focuses on the tracking of uh, large migratory species. That's what we're doing. We're going to tag and track sharks today. That's right. What kind of sharks? Today, we're going to be tagging blue sharks. What attracted you to sharks? The movie Jaws, actually. At what age? At nine. That's a good age to watch Jaws. Yeah. <laughs> so this affected you? It did. It affected but, me deeply. But you were rooting for the shark. That's right. Right. And now here you are. This is going to be so <laughs> much fun. Like, really, a shark on the line. That's right. And this is Captain Art Gaitan, and he runs a charter service out of Eastern Passage. I've got my sea legs, as you can see. Art, how are you? Very well, boy. How about yourself? Good to see you, Captain. Good, good. Okay, so we are going to get some sharks today. I hope so. You come out here with people. Every day. And they catch sharks. And they catch sharks. And how many sharks do you catch? Um, I go between five and 700 in the run of a season. So some days you're a catch and release fisherman, charter guy, and other days you're doing the research and the, the every science. Day, every day we do research and science. Okay. Because we tag every fish that we catch. You see that calm spot going up uh -huh. there? Um, well, that's the actual oil that's coming out of the bucket. Because you've got a bucket of chum that's in the water. the water that's yeah. attracting yeah. the sharks. And what I ended up doing there, and how I make my chum is all the little kids that are bad, I throw them in a grinder and they're over here. And what kind of hook is this? Uh, it's called an offset J hook. There's no barb on it. No barb, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a float here and a, a bobber. A bobber. Yeah. And when the bobber bobs, shark the bobber. on. Is that what you say? Shark on. Shark on. Shark on. OK, there's a shark. <laughs> now what do I do? Do I keep reeling? Lean to the left. Lean to the left. All the way to the left. Over there. Back up. <laughs> Sin, slide right in the uh, opening right there. Somebody get me the hose. Don't what? Don't don't lean over by the mouth. And these things have it sometimes have a tendency of um biting. Trying to get a hold of you. No seriously. Okay, no, no. Try to get a hold of you. So keep your hands back here. Brindle's making a small incision. Two four four one zero. What's the time. What's the time? We have about a minute and ten seconds. Straighten it up. There you go. So we'll pick her back up. Put a layer in the water. We don't throw them in. Yeah. All right, so layer in. Off she goes. Say who wants to fight this one? I'll take this one for a bit. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We got a real bad fish here, guys. <gasps> oh. Let me get my camera take a picture of this one. So that just happened. A shark can survive that kind of bite, do you yeah. think? Yeah. Yeah, they can, actually. They'll actually heal. OK, we're going to hook up the tag. Quick, quick, quick. Push. Yeah. OK. Let's put her back in. There's an aggressive male in yeah. the area. Is this aggressive male biting these adolescent females to eat or to mate? It's actually probably a combination of things. I mean, we can't tell unless we're in the water. How do you get in the water? You'll be getting in the water soon. I don't know. Now, OK. Are you still excited? Well, that? I was really excited about it because I was told by experts <laughs> that it was safe. But it now we're safe. pulling in sharks with giant bites in them. <gasps> but you're not a shark. But how does the shark know that? It knows. Well, as you can see, there's been a costume change, and I'm now joined by Fred Moreski. Fred, how are you? I'm very well, thank you very much. Fred is the executive director of the Ocean Tracking Network. What are we doing, Fred? We're about to take a little swim with the sharks that you've been tagging. Shouldn't we have tracking devices on us? I think we'll like... be OK without them. Shark! 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 I just saw a shark. He was, he was huge. 
<laughs> and I didn't panic. Well, I kind of panicked. I can't believe I saw a shark underwater. I have all my digits. More tag it. It's called a 16 uh, Vemco tag. That's a sizable tag to stick into a shark. How long will the tag operate? Six years. Six years. I'm now about to assist in surgery on a shark. Just something else I'm going to put on the resume. Surgery assistant. What would that person be called? A technician. I like assistant surgeon. Is it going into its stomach? Uh, this is going into what we call the perial tunnel cavity. That was going to be my next guess. OK, baby. All right. OK. Tag, you're in. Well done. Good day in the water. Well done. Thank you. Well done.